Hey everybody, this is Jason here. I'm doing kind of a project here. Um, this project that I'm doing is to enhance the quality of my sound. Because uh, I am kind of picky when it comes to the sound. Um, what I'm doing is I got a real high-end sound card inside my computer and it has a optical out, which is a fiber optic output. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to plug that into my mixer. Uh, since no DJ mixer that I know of has an optical input, I bought a optical to RCA converter. And I'm doing kind of a test because I'm having a hard time enabling the uh, optical output on my computer. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually, but uh, for some reason it's just being a pain in the ass. But this is what I got going on here. This is... This is the fiber optic, optical to RCA converter. And I got it hooked up to my DVD player there. See it's working. And it's, I got this cord RCA cable right into the mixer board. Just testing it because at first I wasn't sure if it was a circuit board if it was bad or if it's something up with the computer. But I'll show you. That's, that's all it is. All the information from the audio is sent. It's like a clear plastic, uh, just clear plastic, and light is traveled along inside there. That's what it looks like. And that goes inside there. And then that reads this, and then it decodes it, and sends it back out. RCA. <clears throat> now the theory behind that is, um, as most of you guys know, the sound inside your computer, um, it generates hum. I'm trying to eliminate as much hum and buzzing as possible. And this is one idea that I came up with that will eliminate it permanently. Now I use ground loop filters which do a phenomenal job, but they're still a little bit there. and uh, when you use ground loop filters, you lose a slight bit of uh, audio quality, which isn't much. You probably will never even notice a difference. But what you gain from it is far more than if you weren't, if you didn't have it at all. You know, because it eliminates all that humming and buzzing and crap. But you know, I want to eliminate that. That way, it's nice, clean signal right into my mixing board and. Uh, ultimately, you know, nice clean sound to the customers. But hopefully, I can get it running and get it all hooked up. But I uh, hey, just here. I just finally got it. I've been dicking with this damn thing for like three hours, messing with settings. I thank God for the internet and uh, forums. I found some information on some forums on how to change some settings in a computer. But it's running. Fingers with the best is no one knows who you are. Going into just the mixer. Girl at the bar. That's all it is, right there. Now there's no physical connection between the PC and my mixer, so that'll that'll help eliminate ground noise and stuff. And this is kind of a uh, it's kind of bright there, but and this sound card has got settings galore on it. With this big old mixer on there, but finally got it. About ready to pull my damn eyeballs out, but I finally got it, and um pretty happy I just gotta check it's check the quality of it and make sure everything's up to par the sample rates and stuff like that and tweak it up and hopefully I don't fuck it up again uh, I don't know I'll have to I'll play it more I'll sh show you guys when I get it all hooked up and put it 
all neat and stuff inside the case. Yeah, this is one setting I had to change right here to 4800 hertz. That's just something I kind of figured out on my own. It couldn't max it out. I don't think this uh, this um, decoder right here supports that high. Um, as you can see, you know, there's there's DVD format 16 bit. This is 24 bit. At 4800 or 48,000, whatever hertz studio quality. It's higher than DVD format, way higher than CD format. So, all nice and clean. How well you can see inside there, but there's a decoder. Plugged in. Nice and hidden right there. Easily accessible. There's a fiber optic cable. Right up and down. Down and up the back right here. Uh, if you're dealing with fiber optic cables, rule of thumb do not bend them. You bend it, you just cost yourself some money. Because uh, some of them are made of plastic and some are made of uh, fibers of glass. But you know, just don't bend it because the light travels. If you put a kink in it, it's going to stop.